सेवेंटीन प्रॉब्लम द इक्वेशन ऑफ ए सर्किल द इक्वेशन ऑफ ए सर्किल पासिंग थ्रो the point the point 2 comma minus 9 and touching both the both the axis is first option x square plus y square minus 10x plus 10y plus 25 is equal to 0 okay second one second option x square plus y square plus 34x Minus thirty four y plus two eighty nine is equal to zero. Third option x square plus y square plus ten x minus ten y plus twenty five is equal to zero. Fourth option x square plus y square minus ten x plus ten y. Plus twenty five is equal to zero. Okay. So in general, actually, uh, by verification also, all these problems can be done using c is equal to g square. C is equal to f square, or substituting two comma minus nine first option, second option, third option, fourth option, which satisfies that will be the answer. So that is one of the methods. But let us remember for always for every problem original shortcut formula. Hint. Equation. of a circle touching both the axis both the axis and passing through passing through H comma K is x square plus y square plus R minus two root C x plus R minus two root C y plus C is equal to zero, where C is equal to root C is equal to root C is equal to mod H plus mod K plus R minus root of two into mod H K. So this can be root C can be explained like this. Now sine of Coefficient of x is equal to sine of minus h. Sine of coefficient of y should be taken as sine of minus k. Okay. Now. What is given here? 
here h h is equal to j k t. So, repeat this we have to add this one this word before that. Now, here then h l mundu di h mortal and gavati e h ninchi correct this call h is equal to 2 and k is equal to minus 9. So, here sin of minus h means minus 2 the coefficient of x should be taken as minus here. Here k is equal to minus 9 minus of minus plus 9. So, here we have to take plus that is all c value with the help of this condition we have to find out. So, therefore, now root c is equal to mod h 2 mod k mod, mod minus mod of minus 9 9 plus or minus root of 2 into 18. So, this means 11 plus or minus 6. So, that means 17 or you will be getting 5. So, as for the problem you have to take you can take 17 or 5 you can take. So, required circles circles are x square plus y square I already told you here you have to take minus sign if you take c for uh, root c is equal to 17 if you consider 17 see so, you get the circle like this minus 34 x plus 34 y plus 34 is equal to 0 this one answer or you can write if you take mod c is equal to this sorry root c is equal to 5 you get like this x square plus y square minus 10 x plus 10 y plus here sorry not this will be 17. So, now c root c is equal to 17 means 289 here 289 this is 25 you get it is equal to 0 you check it which is the right option yes fourth one is the right option generally we may commit mistake by taking this one because sign is very important here we have plus sign but we require here negative sign so that is why we have to neglect this answer either 2 or 4 but 4 will be the answer according to the problem. Eighteenth problem. If two x square minus five xy plus two y square is equal to zero it represents two sides. two sides of a triangle whose centroid whose centroid is 1 comma 1 then the equation of the then the equation of the third side is third side is first option x plus y plus 3 is equal to 0 second option x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Third option x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Fourth option x minus y minus 6 is equal to 0. See just if you observe this problem this is a pair of straight line problem. 
2 x square minus 5 x y plus 2 y square is equal to 0 represent two sides of a triangle. That means, if you just factorize this one, you will get two linear equations. So, that is represent each represent the two sides of the given triangle and instead of third side here center at the triangle formed by the three sides is given. So, we have to find out the third side for this one we have one shortcut. So, very simple shortcut, but you need not write on the no, note down book also in the examination also you can apply here as the center is 1 comma 1 simply multiply each coordinate with 3 by 2 here 3 by 2 into 1 3 by 2 3 by 2 then just verify the options. You see very simple 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 is 6 by 2 3 minus 3 0. So, 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 will satisfy third equation. So, third will be the third side. So, but this is the very fast method. So, sometimes you may forget it that is why let us formulate it. So, let us remember as a hint just like in the previous problems. So, now note down that formula or hint. If the two sides of the triangle are a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 and it is a centroid. Centroid is c comma d, c comma d. Then the equation to the third side to the third side is a c plus h d of x plus b d plus h c of y is equal to 3 by 2 multiplied by a c square plus 2 h c d plus b d square. We have to substitute the respective values. Here a e for 2, 2 h is minus 5 b is 2, whereas c is equal to 1 and d is equal to 1 substituting a c, a c means a c here c, a c means you get here what do you get a c means 2 plus h d h, h is you know minus 5 by 2 ok minus 5 by 2 into d minus 5 by 2 here of x now plus b d. So, b d means 2 here h c h c also minus 5 by 2 of y. This is very important 3 by 2 into a c square a c square means 2 into 1 square 2 2 h is minus 5 c into d 1 only plus b d square 2 this is plus 2. Okay. Now, this will be minus 1 by 2 x minus 1 by 2 y this will be minus 3 by 2 multiply to minus 2 on both sides what do you get now x plus y is equal to 3 therefore, x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. So, just check the few minutes or few seconds whether we have done correct or not.
okay or otherwise i already told you multiply with 3 by 2 just check the options so here see 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 6 by 2 is 3 3 minus 3 is 0 so it will be satisfied directly also within a fraction of time also this problem can be solved 